Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. For today's preview, as the Bulls take on the Stormers this weekend on the back of what was quite a comprehensive victory going down 40 points to 26 to the Western Province against the West, um, the Bulls in the Curry Cup on Wednesday, they will now be clashing in the URC. New squads, a new venue and a new uh, competition really. So uh, as the URC rugby gets back to business and very interesting selection calls, a lot of Springboks back with the Various franchises, especially for the Stormers, who welcome a host of Springboks back, and a couple of massive calls being made by John Dobson and his coaching staff. Before we look at the two teams, please do smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. We'll start with the home side, which is the Bulls, who put out a very good side on Wednesday. In fact, they had a number of Springbok Cat players um, playing in the Curry Cup on Wednesday, but it's still a very impressive side that they have managed to put out for tomorrow. We're starting up front. Kiros Dienekamp, Johan Kobola, and Mornay Smith. It's a very experienced front row in terms of the amount of times they've played together in the last two years. Johan Kobola was outstanding on his return to Bulls um, action last weekend. And Kiros Dienekamp and Mornay Smith have been also attracting a lot of attention, as have the next two players. Ruhr Nokia and Walsh Dienekamp are stalwarts now in that lock position. They play week in, week out. They're very consistent. Ruhr Nokia in particular is getting a lot of attention and somebody who is... Definitely raising a few eyebrows in terms of possible higher selection. Um, very interesting selection is the teenager Reynard Ludwig starting at number seven. Can operate as lock as well. A very highly rated youngster, SA under 20 player. And he's got the company of Arno Boerta and Albrecht Lowe, which is such a pleasure, you know, in terms of players who are, have come through the system and broken through at the highest level, especially somebody like Albrecht Lowe, who's still a very young player himself, but has become quite a senior player within this Bulls pack. And um, what's quite exciting about this bullpack, it is it is relatively young. You know, for all that Jake White has been trying to sort of lift the, the average age of players within the squad, the Bulls pack is relatively young. Um, the halfback combination of Brosa Pierre is partnered with Chris Smith. I thought Brosa Pierre was very impressive last weekend. And, you know, we need to see him back at his best. I think that at his best, Brosa Pierre is knocking down the door for Springboks. And that's where we would like to see him get back um, to eventually so I'm hoping for another big performance from him Kurtley Lawrence is back on the wing him and Madosh Tamwe will be the two speedsters for the Bulls in the center Cornell Hendricks will captain the side and he'll have the experienced Arnold who outside him David Creel shifted back to his regular position at fullback where I personally think he is definitely at his bench best off the bench, a lot of experience the likes of Bismarck Duplessis and Lizard Koboka and Jacques Van Noren. so plenty of experience to try and guide and the Bulls home. Uh, Jakos Wannapool and Marcel Kutsia will cover the rest of the scrum. Then you've got Zach Berger, Mornestein, and Harold Forster. So whatever the situation is, whether it be chasing a game, or whether it be um, trying to see a game off, there is a lot of experience coming off the bench for the Bulls and certainly a lot of players who can do both jobs in terms of staying calm and chasing a game or else just sort of seeing a game out and, and getting the job done. For the Storm, it's a pretty big call at uh, fullback with Damien Villas getting the nod and Warwick Halant being dropped down to the bench. This despite Warwick Halant being named the first ever URC Player of the Month due to his performances last year in October. So we look at the front row. Steven Kitsov is back in a Stormers jersey and he and Salman Rat will actually co-captain the side this weekend. Scurry and Tabeni and Sazi Sandi are next to him. Sazi Sandi getting the nod, which is a testament to how the young tight hit has really started to play very well in recent months and starting to sort of um, gain a bit of attention there for the former SA under 20 player. Uh, Sal Murat and Marvin Oria were uh, Springbok squad members. Sal Murat, unlucky and probably not to get a debut, but definitely will be a Springbok in the next few years. Next to Marvin Ori, who is a capped Springbok. Um, and then you've got Dion Free, Ernst Van Rijn, and Evan Ruhr. It's interesting to see how Ernst Van Rijn, um goes on the flank. It is quite a difficult thing for the Stormers to do because they've got so many talented locks um, in terms of how they can try and uh, you know, shuffle things around. So one of the ways they can do that is putting Ernst Verein on the flank. And then Dion Free is obviously a very versatile player. And then you've got Evan Ruiz, who will be trying to sort of storm his way back into a uh, Springbok conversation after his terrific form last year. Um, he's had a bit of a slow start to the URC, um, which is always going to happen in a young career, a player's career. It won't always be easy. There will be times where sometimes you might be out of form and you really have to sort of work on it. Um, so, you know, he'll be keen to get back on the field and start putting his hand up once again. Herschel Yankee's partner is Monty Liebach, um, and what I think is going to be a very exciting halfback combination. Both players who like to play at speed, who like to take the ball to himself, who like to take the ball flat on. Um, and then there's a lot of pace in that back line with the likes of Sanatla, Soto Peterson, and Damien Williams are getting a start at full back. It's also quite interesting because we're always going to wonder how is. John Dobson going to put Damien Williams and Warwick Lunt into the same 15. 
The answer is he's not this weekend because he has dropped Warakalant down to the bench. The centre pairing will be Rickers Pretorius next to Ruan Nell. Off the bench, the very exciting young hooker, Andre Hugo Fenter, Leon Lyons, and then the experienced Brock Harris. You've got RJ Smith, another one of the very strong Stormers locks, and Hachiba Diamani, who's played his way into the squad on the back of a terrific first game in the Curry Cup last week, Saturday. Paul DeVette, Dan Dubassi, and Warakalant do run up the rest of the bench. So no natural fly-half replacement on the bench, but Damien Williams that can obviously double in there. Uh, Warakalant um, can also play outside centre if he needs to, but Dan Dubassi there, um, you'd imagine we'd probably see Warakalant coming in at full-back and Damien Williams uh, shifting to either shifting to 10 or coming off himself. Um, so it's two very very um, experienced teams two very exciting teams with some very exciting names on it it should be a very interesting clash it's the clash after the Lions take on the Sharks let me know what your score predictions are down in the comments below please do smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well thank you very much for watching my name is Steven I'll chat to you soon